What's up, nerds? So, I just finished the fourth episode of X-Men 97. Now, I just want to say real quick, my daughter's going to be behind me for this episode because it's spring break and she wanted to hang out with me. So, we watched the episode together and and then um, I'm recording this. So, I just want to say real quick that this episode was not bad. But it was very filler-esque. Like, I was very much, like, the whole time just, like, uh, this this episode was fun. But at the same time, I'm like, it, it wasn't anything special. So, it was all about Jubilee this episode. Which is fine. It's fine. Um, I don't think the voice actress is doing a good job. Not as good a job as the previous voice actress. Um, but that woman was white, so of course she couldn't uh, voice, you know, a fake character on the screen. But whatever, it's fine. So I'm going to break this episode down for you. It's not really complex because it brought in, um, you know, some stuff from, you know, from the past and everything. But why don't we go ahead and um, break this sucker down and I'll give you my thoughts and stuff. All right, here we go. On the morning of her 18th birthday, Jubilee and Roberto are transported into a video game by Mojo. Okay, so it's Jubilee's birthday, and unlike a lot of people, I've never really cared for Jubilee. I always thought Jubilee was annoying, and I didn't like her catchphrases like, Does a mall baby eat chili fries? I never liked any of that crap. I thought her, I've always thought her powers were not that great either. Uh, you know, fireworks are kind of lame, but, uh, but you know, that's fine. She's got her fans. Also, I've never been a fan of Mojo. I've always thought he was gross, and the Mojo verse was always like stupid to me. But at the same time, um, I, I go, that's it's fine because it serves a purpose. And, uh, you know, Roberto, he's fine. I just wish he would use his powers. With the help of a digital copy of Jubilee from the game's beta version, the pair fight their way through the game and defeat Mojo before Spiral sends them back to the real world. Okay, so when she gets in there and she's doing all these games, which the game playing was cool, and when uh, they put up the the her playing the games and the people watching, it was very reminiscent of that old arcade game that it, it was on, uh, I believe it was on Sega, and I used to love that game. That game was awesome. I used to play that game all the time, and I think I would rent it from like Blockbuster or Video Time or whatever, and it was it was great. I loved that video game, but. Uh, so when she, when it's, I knew it was a copy of her. Like I was just like, oh, that's just her, but it's a copy of it. So it's a, it's a, uh, you know, a copy from the beta version of the game. And I was just like, this is very The Flash. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't impressed with this thought or idea. And, um, yeah, it was just, it was very basic. But at the same time, I wasn't all like, I'm mad and everything. But it was, it was kind of filler. Afterward, Jubilee kisses Roberto. And these two are in love, which is fine, but you knew it was happening because they don't put any more young people in the in the mansion, so it's like, who else could Jubilee fall in love with? Meanwhile, Storm heads to Forge's ranch to undergo a procedure meant to restore her powers, but it fails. So I was kind of bummed when her powers failed, but my whole thing right now is what part of this is the bad guy's, you know, delusion uh, or illusion? And then what part is real? <laughs> but because uh, I'm like, I just felt bad because I really want Storm to get her powers back because she's awesome. After he admits to previously inventing power nullifying technology, an enraged Storm tries to leave only to be brought back by the adversary. And that was the end of the episode. I liked the reveal of Forge creating the um, uh, power nullifiers and everything. And then I liked Storm. You know, I really like Storm. Storm's a great character, so I'm I'm glad she got some time. And you know, it did um, show their like love, like the beginning of their love story from the comic books, which was also nice. Now the adversary, I have to be honest with you, I have not. I don't know this character. I don't know this character from the comic books, and if I do, I don't remember him. Uh, but uh, I will. It'll be interesting to see where that goes. I thought it was um, the Demon King or whatever his name is, uh, but uh, at first. But then it does make sense that it would be like this, like Native American one, because of, like Forge and everything in there, and and um, and he's very like the trickster uh, esque. 
So it'll be interesting to see where they go. But overall, this episode was very mid for me and it felt like a filler. So I'm all like, I'm sorry, but we can't be doing fillers right now. We ain't got time for that nonsense. We need, I, me personally, I just like, I need this stuff like right now. Like I need, I need the action. I need all that good stuff right now. Um, but we'll see where it goes for the next episode. Like I said last time, I really wish they would do next time on X-Men, but they don't and it's fine. It's like whatevs. Um, all right, you guys, want to end it there and just, you know, like I said before, this episode was just fine, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, I didn't hate it, um, you know, but at the same time, I was looking for a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, I would have watched a whole episode of the Storm Forge stuff over the Jubilee stuff, but, you know, you know, beggars can't be choosers. All right, you guys, well, tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What was your favorite part? Well, there's really only two parts. Uh, but, uh, you know, have you ever heard of The Adversary? And if so, uh, you know, maybe leave me a little info down below. Don't just copy and paste Wikipedia. I've already read Wikipedia. Uh, but uh, uh, tell me what you guys thought, uh, what you're looking forward to in the future and everything. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're on my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you you guys on my next x-men 97 breakdown and review you guys have a good week bye